All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a tripeptide, valine, phenylalanine, and glutamic acid at pH 2. In a previous video, I showed you how to draw valine, phenylalanine, and aspartic acid at pH 7. But in this particular one, we're going to do a, an acidic pH, so pH 2. <clears throat> I'm going to start by drawing out the backbone from N terminus to C terminus. Since there are three amino acids, I'm going to I'm going to do NCC, 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 one NCC for each amino acid, and then I'll start filling in from there. So this is the alpha carbon for the first amino acid, which is valine. I know there's a hydrogen coming off of every alpha carbon. And then valine is going to be CH, CH3, two CH3s coming off of a CH. That's the R group. On the amine terminus, since it's pH2, it will be positively charged with three hydrogens attached. <clears throat> and then this would be the carbonyl. And together with the nitrogen creates the amide bond, which is, or sorry, the peptide bond, which is the amide functional group. And we're off to the next amino acid. Phenylalanine. The R group is a CH2 with an aromatic ring and a hydrogen. And then the next carbonyl to a nitrogen, creating the second peptide bond. And on to the third and final amino acid in this chain. Got a hydrogen coming off the top, and then glutamic acid, which is going to have two CH2s and then a carboxylic acid. So this is going to be protonated at pH 2. And then the final carbonyl which is, of course, the C-terminus, also protonated at pH 2. If you go back and look at my video for pH 7, the carboxylic acids in these two places are deprotonated, but because we're at an acidic pH, they will both be protonated. Anyway, so I hope that helps with drawing out tripeptides. I may do some more videos on other peptides, uh, but for now, that's it for this one.